new intro so much love and appreciation to those of you who have been with me for the two-year period plus that i've been doing this um thank you for showing your uh love and support to the channel and to anybody else who is brand new to the platform and you would like to support the channel also you can do it by way of patreon anchor the clothing store and also the shoe shop that is listed in the comment description below and again thank you to any and all of you guys who have been here to support this channel during the two plus year period i wouldn't be able to do what i do every single day without you The Metropolitan Police has issued advice for women who fear a police officer may not be genuine following revelations about the kidnapping and the murder of Sarah Evard. During a two-day sentencing hearing of Wayne Cousins, it emerged that the former Met officer abused his power as a member of police department to falsely arrest Evard before her murder. The Met Police publishes guidelines for members of the public in the wake of the revelations titling the page Metropolitan Police our response to issues raised by the crimes of Wayne Cousins. The Met stressed that it is unusual for a single plainclothes officer to engage with anyone in London, but if it does happen to you, you should expect to see another officer arrive shortly afterwards. In the event you find yourself alone with an officer, it is entirely reasonable for you to seek further reassurance of the officer's identity and intentions by asking questions such as, where are your colleagues? Where have you come from? Where, why are you here? Exactly why are you stopping or talking to me? Members of the public who are concerned about an officer are advised to seek some independent verification of what they say, for example, by asking to hear or speak to the operator of the police radio if they are carrying one. Asking them to verify the officer in question is genuine. Officers are stated to expect to be asked more questions given the disturbing revelations made by Cousins sentencing. But if you feel you are in a real and immediate danger, you do not believe that the officer is who they say that they are. Members of the public are advised to seek assistance by shouting to a passerby, running into a house, knocking on a door, or waving down a bus, or calling 999. Now, I'm a little bit confused here. So the story basically has to do with a cop that ended up stopping a young woman um, and she was more than likely accosted and you know, a variety of other things took place. And the end result was that her life was taken. And all she was doing was simply walking home. So you mean to tell me that the police cannot combat or do some type of searching within themselves to find a lot of these criminals and these deviants. So they're in a sense still trying to do what they can to protect themselves while also still trying to act like and portray that, hey, we care about the public, we care about women. So what we're going to do is we're not going to really investigate ourselves. We're not going to really try to verify, you know, our officers. We're not going to do any type of, uh, you know, thorough psychological uh, 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 looking or deep diving what we're going to do is we know that there's something there we can't really put our finger on it but we do know that something did take place by way of one of our officers so because of that what we're going to tell you to do is don't trust our officers what you should do is x y and z what you should do is wave to somebody let somebody know that you don't feel safe like is that what we're doing now we have to in a sense as you know grown adults right we have to basically wave down help and it, like it, it, it doesn't make any sense like it's the most baffling thing you literally have the police telling you to in a sense save yourself from the police the police are the ones that's supposed to be there to protect that's supposed to serve the ones that you know do the whole oath and they're trying to you know make sure that the community is good and fine but if you can't trust yourself around the police if you can't trust the police around you then who are you to trust who are you to trust? The police are supposed to be the ones that you identify as like, yo, this is trustworthy. This is the person that I can go to if I need for help. This is the person that, you know, they'll risk their life for me. This is the person that's going to save my life. This is the person that's going to do X, Y, and Z. But you can't even go to them for that because out of fear that that officer might have ulterior motives. Out of fear that that officer might try to actually cost you. You might as well basically turn and ask for a criminal to help you because at the end of the day it was not a criminal 
it wasn't somebody that was wielding a weapon. It wasn't somebody that was trying to knock over Granny for her bag of nickels. It wasn't somebody that's trying to, you know, rob the local pub or a local convenience store or whatnot or whatever. It was a cop that did this. So I was like, is, is, is that, in a sense, where we're at at this moment in time? That instead of asking the cops for help, you might as well ask the criminals out there? Because more than likely, they'll do it. Like, this is the most ridiculous thing that I've ever read in my life. I don't understand how a police union or, or, or how it works in the UK. I'm not exactly sure who that, you know, that's a part of, like, the, the constables out there. I'm not sure who amongst them thought that this would be a good idea to write and to put out to the public as if to fix a situation which the public should not have to fix and worry about it is not the public's job to have to wave down somebody because they feel unsafe about a cop that's something that that happens over here in the united states where black people feel unsafe around cops because we realistically don't know what they're going to do we realistically don't know if it's a good day a bad day an iffy day good cop bad cop we don't know exactly what type of cop that we're going to specifically deal with but to know the fact that this is what is happening abroad but yet it's just not really talked about and then on top of that you have these unions or, or whatnot or whatever putting out these messages to tell the the public that if you feel unsafe ask for help who are you supposed to really ask for help from who's going to save you from the police who somebody let me know who who has the power to save you from the police other than themselves and if they're not going to save you from them then who like i said before it's a tragedy that you know this young woman ended up having her life taken by somebody who is supposed to protect and serve but like i told you guys before the only thing that the police realistically protect and serve is themselves further proof of that is the fact of the message that they decided to send out to the public in the wake of this young woman's passing by way of one of their officers but people always want to sit up there and and, and, and talk well you're just trying to vilify the cops you're 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 just against the cops you're just this you're just that well i just seemingly decide to pay attention to the real news that gets put out about cops and not just the fuzzy warm good stories that they put out there to try to make you think that this is all cops i don't have time for that cops have a history they didn't just you know show up here as good guys they came by way of land overseers they came by way of slavery and then they made them into cops because they wanted to make sure and have another way in order to keep track of their slaves, of the freed men, of their property. So you had a, a bunch of Caucasians leave one land that they were overseeing and they decided to allow them to see a whole other type of land. That's where they stem from in America. But anyways, let me know what you guys think about this video and everything that I listed in the comment description below. And as always, peace, love, and stay tuned for the next video.